Yeah, I have to honestly agree with Way. It really comes down to, listen, we're all in this together. Um, when the when I opened my eyes, the final note, I closed my eyes and I said, oh, at least I have uh, Alicia, Smiley, and Adam. That's my round. Now I can just sing the song because a lot of the pressure is off. But then when I opened my eyes and I saw the four chairs, I was really, I mean, anyone in that situation is stunned because you just hope to God one time. And, um, have all four of them, it's, it's a great the testament to how far, whether you have one or, if, or whether you have four, it's just a testament to know that how many have sacrificed and only this many are here in this moment. Um, it, it's just a testament to everybody's hard work. Um, and it's Adam, listen, I was, I was a nervous wreck because, to be honest with God's people, man in the mirror was not in my wheelhouse. So they were nice in the hotel, but I would be up until three o'clock in the morning, uh, doing pocket, you know, rhythms and, and drum beats and listening to things that, that are really outside of my comfort zone because that was not a Billy song at all, like at all. I would never be in my show. It would never be in my sight to sing. So I had my work cut out for me. Um, but you only work that much harder because one, it's all you are. And, and, and music encompasses your life. It, it, really want to chose you instead of you choosing it, but you will make it work. Good, bad, or indifferent. Um, so when Adam kept me on the team, I was so grateful um, just for the hard work, and and uh, and the hard work continues, you know. It's, it, we're all phenomenal singers, and I'm just so honored to be a part of this family, and uh, for however long it lasts, uh, it's been quite an amazing ride so far, and the one thing that I always want to let people know is how grateful I am, because it's anybody's game, and for all of us to be amongst each other, to show the hard work and so forth. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Uh, he is crazy talented. And what blew me away when I walked through the door was, I was questioning his face, it's instantly recognizable. He's so amazingly talented as a performer, uh, a rock legend with Van Halen on his own as well. Uh, but he's also a brand. He's a, he's a smart, smart businessman. Um, so a lot of respect went to him in different ways. And as a singer, of course, we're on the show because we're on a show called The Voice and you're singing. But um, throughout the little moments uh, uh, talking with him, he, he could sense that he was also given you know, knowledge about being yourself and being a brand. Of course, getting a note is important, yada, yada, yada. But... Uh, and he put me in my paces. I was a nervous wreck leaving that first rehearsal because attacking a Michael Jackson song, I mean, I can sing in the pocket, but that is pocket time a thousand. And that's something that I genuinely, generally don't do. So I knew I had my work cut out for me, and especially during being uh, up against such a brilliant singer like Andrew. Uh, so I just, I would literally stay up all hours of the night just, just listening to rhythmic track and, and listening to more Michael and listening to recording myself and listening to it back with my music because it's long. Um, but he really uh, put me in my paces about what I was doing wrong and what I was doing right. And because of that, comes tremendous, tremendous growth. You know, I think, you know, the constructive criticism is the criticism that enables much success, whether you want to be a doctor or a, or a lawyer or a, or a singer. Um, it's within that criticism and in his knowledge, and it, and it really blew me away that he was so in tune to that, you know. Uh, he, he was very, very respectable and respectful of us, and that is incredible. Nervous, nervous breath. I thought once I get past lines, if I get past it, at least I've proven myself enough to where someone, hopefully, Adam, Miley, Alicia, Blake will believe in me enough to keep me on the team. I'll tell you something. It is a, it's a nervous thing because not only you don't want to overdo it, you don't want to look desperate, but you want to shine and, and you, want to, you want your your opponent and your, and your buddy that you've grown to really respect and admire. You want them to grow and them to shine. It, it's literally like a dance act, you know. It, it, it's it's tiptoeing, you know. Okay, what's the proper thing? But how much do you do? How much do you hold back? So they know that you're genuinely coming from a place where you're just so honored. It, it's a lot of emotions, and um, I, I will be honest. After the battle, I slept 19 hours out of 24 hours. I was so exhausted. I didn't pick my head up off the pillow to do anything for almost 19 hours. I was that exhausted. So it, it, it only makes that more 
gratifying the one you work and you want it and you breathe it so bad like all the rest of us here on this call and, and it comes to fruition at whatever capacity, a win, a steal, it's still a win because you're there. Um, and it, it's nerve-wracking. It, it really, really set me back a few paces, I will tell you, and I'm genuinely grateful that, that Adam saw whatever he saw and I will continue to make him proud, hopefully, and strive to be the best me and the most honest me that I can, I can be. But it was nerve-wracking. <laughs> okay, I'm done.